Hi guys, welcome to Verbling. My name is Henna, and this is a vocabulary class with me for this hour. We are going to be learning the names of very, well, I don't want to say common animals, but a lot of different animals in the English language. I know a lot of people know what certain domesticated animals are called in their own language, but not necessarily in English. We are going to be solving a crossword puzzle together. Um, and um, as everybody's reading along, some of the words in the crossword puzzle are also kind of challenging, so we're going to learn all of that, all right? Okay, so the first two minutes of class, as you guys probably know by now, are reserved for premium account users. So those are people who have a premium account and they can make as many reservations as they want and they can make sure that there's a spot for them in every and all classes, all right? So if that sounds like something that you want to do, then upgrading to a premium account is what needs to happen. Oh, yeah. Um, and your first week is free, all right? So if you're unsure, I don't know if it's for me or not, then premium account, first week free, should be a good deal. And we have Sofiane. Sofiane is a new user on Verbling, and this is Sofiane's first day. Right, Sofiane? Is that what you said? It was your first day on Verbling? Yes. How are you finding it so far, Sofian? It's good. It's you, good. You like it? Yeah? yeah? That's awesome. Say you like it. Say you love it. <laughs> okay. He's <laughs> like, I do. Don't make me say it. I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. And we have a couple of people. Mido. Mido. If you're a beginner, if you want to get into this class, you need to press on the green join class button when it appears. And it should appear like any time now, all right? What do you guys see? Do you guys see a green join class button or is it still blue? Everybody's like, are you ready? Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm not Sofian. I'm talking to everybody in the chat box. So Sofian, you're new, I get it. Cool. <laughs> where, are you, where are you from, Sofian? Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm not Sofian. I'm talking to everybody in the chat box. So Sofian, you're new, I get it. Jalal, meet yourself. Hi. Where are you? Hi. So I have Jalal. <laughs> Hello. Uh, we're 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 earphones, Jalal. I can hear my I can hear my yeah, echo. Sorry, it's annoying. Sorry, sorry, anyway, it's okay. No. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Don't worry about it. No need to apologize. Yeah. So, oh, and we have Ahmed. Ahmed, I'm gonna say this is a beginner level class. So if you know all the answers, do not yell them out. Okay. Okay, Ahmed. Ahmed, I'm looking at you. Ahmed Zizo, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. Get it? Okay. So I'm just going to uh, let everybody know. So it looks like class is full. So welcome, everyone. Um, yes, G, you are Hi. in class. You made it. Hi. Hi. Today. I'm fine. Welcome back, Ahmed. Ahmed was in my Hi. advanced. Ahmed was in my advanced class, and now he's in my beginner class. Uh, Ahmed, come on. Come on, man. Come on. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> I had two for two months ago. Also. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so um, we so I think class is full, so we can begin. So, like I said, this is um, we're going to be solving a crossword puzzle. All right. So some of the words, if you looked at the Google document, some of the words are a little challenging uh, in the sense that, uh, uh, like the description for the word that we're looking for. So if you guys, if you guys uh, even. If you're above the beginner level, you can still join this class because as you're reading the words, as you're reading the sentences and the clues wow. for the uh, words in the in the crosswords, you might not know what some of them are. So you're more than welcome to join. I'm just going to say that if it's not your turn, if somebody else is reading a sentence and it's their turn to guess the word, just give them the time that they need to guess the word. All right. If they don't know what the word is, then I'll open it up for everybody in class and we'll help that person out, all right? But I don't want this happening like I get like Jalal, Jalal read this and he's like, oh, um, I think I know the answer and then somebody and somebody yells out the answer, okay? We don't want that, all right? So just try to keep your, try to keep your enthusiasm contained, all right? Okay, so are we all ready to begin? Yes? Yes. Ready to begin? yes. Okay. So let's start with a quick round of introductions, just to make sure that everybody's microphones and um, stuff is working. They can hear me. We will start with our names. 
say where we're from, and uh, say how long we've been using Verbling, okay? So I'll begin. Welcome everyone, my name is Hina. I am your teacher in today's class. I am from Canada, but right now I live in San Francisco in California, and I have been a teacher on Verbling since late December. So I believe December 26th was my first class. So it's been almost a couple of months, coming up on my anniversary, all right? <laughs> <laughs> so let's start with Ahmed. My name is Ahmed. I'm living in Kuwait. I am a pharmacist. I am very happy to attend your class here. Thank you, Ahmed. I'm very happy that you're here. Ahmed's like, I don't care if it's an advanced class or a beginner class. I'm in this class. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't care. <laughs> and how long have you been on Verbling, Ahmed? Maybe three months ago. Three months. So, Ahmed. Before Emmett's... you teach in uh, Verbling. Yeah. So Emma's a veteran. He's a veteran. Okay, veteran is means someone he's who's been around for a long, long time. Okay, veterans are usually older people who have who are very used to something. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Ahmed. Thank you very much. Uh, next we have Jalal. Yeah. Hi, my name is Jalal. Uh, I live in Canada, and um, it's. 22 hours a day, non-stop on Verbling. <laughs> I know, Jalal has been in like almost all my classes. He's like, I'm a Verbling yeah. addict. That's it. That's all I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Jalal. How long have you been using Verbling? It's just today, right? Like you just I'm, discovered it. I'm the it. first one who signed in Verbling before they start all. And uh, before um, I uh, and and uh, yesterday I saw an email. Uh, coming from Verblin saying that, that there is three, 36 uh, classes waiting for me. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, Verblin, I, I signed it um, two years ago and um, uh, I, I took, uh, took uh, I was in touch with, uh, with some, uh, some developer from uh, for Verblin and um, I know I'm signing in and uh, I want to, to, to perform some, my, my, my English to, to uh, yeah. That's awesome. So those those emails that Verbling shoots out, they actually work. So that's how you're here. That's yeah. awesome. Thank you, Jalal. And Jalal yeah. is from my home country, Canada. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Jalal. Uh, next, we have Jesus. Welcome back, Jesus. Hi, teacher. Hi. My, name is, my name is Jesus. I'm from Lima, the capital of Peru. I'm 22 years old. Um, this is my first class. On Verbling, like ever? This is your first time on Verbling? Yeah, yes. inside of Hangul. Oh. I always mm -hmm. watch the song classes, but out of, of so Hangul. Okay, all right. So this is your first time in a Hangul. This is the first time you're attending a class. Okay. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Welcome, Jesus. It's awesome that you finally decided to join a class and not just watch from the outside. That's great. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah. Next, we have Jose. Jose Para Peralta. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to show you guys. I'm going to share my screen. And I'm going to show you guys who are new that you some of the features that you have in this Hangout. Uh, you can mute and unmute yourself from over here. Okay, so here. And now I'm unmute. All right. So when you're not talking, just make sure that your microphone is muted. Otherwise, all the noise will be heard by all of us. Okay. So I'm going to come back to Jose. Next, we have Lucas. Hello, teacher. Hello, everyone. Hello. Um, I'm from, oh, hello. I'm from, I'm from hello, teacher. You. Yeah, finally, I could enter the class. Okay, just hold one minute, Jose. We're gonna get Lucas to introduce himself, and then I'll come back to you. Um, all right. Um, and that is my sixth grade J here. I am uh, the verbling side uh, in the last year, fifteen. Of February. Okay, so just mm -hmm. 
Okay, so not so not too long and not too short either. Okay, welcome, <laughs> Lucas, and I think it's like your first class with me. So welcome. I always like seeing new people. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And next, now we have Jose. Jose, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. I'm Jose from Venezuela, from Caracas. And, well, this is not my first time, but I, I, I've been in Berlin, like, in 10 classes. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So, relatively new. So, welcome, Jose, and welcome to my class. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, next, we have Sofian. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Sofia, and I'm from Algeria. I'm 17 years old, and I've been using Verbling for a month now, but this... But I did not attend classes. I just used uh, friends. Oh, you, you just used the one-on-one -on -one feature. Okay. Yes. So what uh, what made you decide to uh, attend classes and stop using the one-on-one -on -one feature? Because I saw I have a reservation. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to cash it. <laughs> use it. Use it now. Now, now, now. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad you came over to the to the classes side from the one-on-one. -on -one. Welcome, Sofian. Thank you. Uh, next we have Tan. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead, Tan. Hello, my name is Tan. I'm from Vietnam and I've been using Verplink for almost one month. For almost one month. That's awesome. Thank you, Tan. Uh, next we have Victor. Victor, can you hear me? You need to unmute Hi. yourself. Hi. Hi, everyone. Uh, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. I'm Victor. Uh, from Mexico, mm -hmm. uh, was calling the city. Uh, Twenty years old and bold burbling. Well, it's my third third occasion here. Third class or third, third. like third time, third session. <laughs> okay, third time okay. here. Okay. So. All right, that's awesome. And how long have you been? When when was your first class? Like a, a week ago, a month ago. Oh, um, I think it was Monday from this okay. week. Okay, so you're so you get the dance. You're welcome. You're a new user. Yay! We have Victor who's a new user. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, uh, it sounds uh, interesting because, uh, well, I'm a beginner, so I need to imp improve. Imp improve, yeah. Improve my English. That's awesome. So welcome to everybody who is a beginner. This is a beginner level class. And I am going to say that if I speak too fast for somebody, you guys can tell me. All right? Don't be like, I have no idea what she's saying, but I can't stop her. Okay? So if I speak too fast for somebody and you guys want me to slow down, you can tell me. I'm not going to be like, I am throwing you out of class. I'm, I'm not going to do that. All right? So welcome, Victor. And lastly, we have Yi. Hi, uh, your, your internet's having issues. Go ahead, introduce yourself. Yeah, hello everyone. I'm from China. Uh, I used Berlin for a couple of months. I cannot remember the <laughs> time. Okay, it's a couple of months, so uh, two months or over. Okay. That's awesome. Thank you, Yi, and thank you, everybody, for introducing yourselves. Um, was everybody able to open the Google document that I, I've attached in Burbling chat? For all those who don't know, it's right there, OK? Yeah. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be sharing my screen, all right? So you guys will be seeing the, um, the, the crossword. The, the chart, the crossword chart that we're going to be solving, all right? And I'm going to ask you to solve each one of those, um, each one of the blanks, all right? So I'll be like, Ahmed, I want you to solve one down, okay, for example. So Ahmed is going to go to the Google document and see, okay, one down, what is one down? One down, this farm animal has feathers and lays eggs, okay? And then I'll tell him how many letters the word is. And then he will have to figure out what it is, all right? If there's any word that you guys don't know when you're reading a sentence, please stop me and let me know, and I'll explain it to you, okay? So, so that we'll he, has, 
Yeah. yeah um, the the charge of uh, of Fairblain not it's not working for me. And uh, when I go when I go to to Fairblain site and when I uh, choose the um, the document which which you write on the description, it doesn't give me anything. Can you can you paste paste it on on the chat Google of chat. Google? Yeah. Yeah. Please? I, okay. Yeah. Tan has posted it in Google chat and I posted it in Google chat as well. Yeah. Okay. If Thanks. you guys are having issues, you're welcome. If you're having issues with Verbling chat, let me know. Uh, I'll switch to Google chat. Okay. So, are we all ready to begin? Are we ready? Yes? Yes. Yes? yes? Okay. To all those who are watching, Fanfu, Lucas, everybody in the uh, in the chat, welcome. It's nice to have you guys join us in chat as well. Okay? So now I'm going to share my screen. All right? Can everybody see it? Yes. Yeah? Is this big enough for everybody? I, I thought this was okay, like this was big enough. Yes? Right? Yes. So we are going to be switching back and forth. So when I tell you, Ahmed, read one down. Ahmed's going to read this, and then he's going to look here and try to figure out what the words are and what the word is, okay? So on that note, if we're ready to begin, then let's go. Ahmed, I will actually get you to do one down. Can you please read for us what one down is and then tell yes, us what the word is? Of course. This farm animal has feathers and lays eggs. Mm -hmm. so one it's down. Seven, one, seven letters. Two, yes. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Lay eggs. Lay eggs. Roster. Uh. <laughs> okay. It, why not? Okay, it's seven letters, so it can it can't be a hen because that's only three. Um, a rooster is a. Is no, no, a, no, no. Yeah, a it's rooster. Possible. Yeah, a rooster is a male, so a yes, male yes. cannot lay eggs. So, <laughs> yes, yes, what yes. is it? So, it's a farm animal that has feathers. Everybody knows what feathers are, right? Yes. What birds have? Yeah. yeah? Yes, yes. It's called. I, word. I don't know. I lay on a bed. Okay. Uh, I don't know what does what does the word. Sorry, who is talking? Mean? Lays. Okay, so lays. Once we figure out what the word is, I'll explain what lays is. Okay, so who can tell me what one down is? It's what? A farm. Sorry. Chicken. Chicken. Perfect. A farm yeah. animal that has feathers and lays eggs. Okay, chicken. Perfect. So yes, lays. Chicken. So somebody was asking, what is lays? So you know what eggs are, right, Jose? Anna? Yeah. So, so, so to, so to produce eggs is to lay eggs. All right. So, chicken, they lay eggs. They go to a nest. They go to a nest, and they, and they produce eggs. To produce eggs by a chicken or anything that gives, that produces eggs is called laying eggs. All right. Bird, bird. Okay, I'm gonna ostrich. write bird. That is when ostrich. Exactly, an ostrich lays eggs. So, any animal. That ha produces uh, babies by laying eggs, by by producing eggs. That's called as laying eggs. Okay, birth. When you give birth, you give birth to a live to a to a living thing. You don't give birth to an egg. All right. For example, human beings they give live birth. All right. They don't lay eggs. Right. So animals <laughs> that lay eggs, they they do not give live birth. They produce eggs and then the eggs hatch. Eggs hatch. So when an egg breaks and little little chicks come out of it, that's called hatching. So the breaking of an egg and a new animal coming out of it is called hatching. All right? Perfect. So a farm animal that has feathers and lays eggs is a chicken. Awesome. Thank you, Ahmed. Jalal, I'm actually going to ask you to mute yourself because there's a little bit of noise coming from Yeah, I did microphone. it. I did it. Sorry. Perfect. Thank you. So that's okay. Next, let's get Sofiane. Sophia, yes. are you there? Okay. Yes. I will get you to do two across. Can you read two across for us and then try to solve it? A blank can fly in the air or swim in a pond. Yeah, it's four, four letters. So it's right here on my screen. It's a duck. Yeah, perfect. A duck. Everybody knows what a pond is, right? Pond? A pond? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it's pond. Like it. Thing with water, like yeah. fishes and frogs. Yeah, a pond is like a lake, but a pond is smaller. So everybody knows what a lake is, right? Lake is like a body of water, 
that yeah. has water coming into it. When mountains, when snow on a mountain melts, the water uh, goes into a lake. And, in a, and a lake eventually goes into a sea, which eventually goes into the ocean. Okay? So a pond doesn't do any of that. A pond is just on its own. All right. So a pond is not connected to a sea or the ocean. It has no water flow. Okay. So the water does not flow through a pond. It just it just sits in a pond. Yeah. A small lake that is not connected to the ocean. So a pond, small lake, not connected to ocean. Okay. Okay. That is what a pond is. All right. And duck. A duck can fly in the air or swim in a pond. Okay. Perfect. Any? I think that's. I think that's good. Let's move on. Um, who did we just have? We had. We had Sofian, right? Let's get Lucas. Lucas, can I get you to do five across, please? Five across. Oh yes. Um, swim in water. Mm-hmm. It's a four-letter word. It's over here, Lucas. And it's uh, the second letter is an I. Okay. So it swims in water. Okay. So here, a, a, a duck. A duck is on top of So this is water. So a duck is on top. So this animal is under the water. So it swims in the water. What is it? <laughs> okay, who would like to help? Who would like to help Lucas out? It's a fish. It's a fish. Oh. Yeah. Do you know uh, what a Do you know what a fish is, Lucas? Yeah, yeah. 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 A lot of people eat it. Come on. <laughs> okay. So, so you guys have to understand the prepositions. So, to float on water is when you're on top. You're above the surface of the water. So, a duck is on top of the water. A fish is in the water. It swims in the water. Okay? Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Lucas. Next, I'll get Victor. Victor, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah? Can I yeah. get you to do three down, Victor? Okay. Where me comes from? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's difficult. Is it? Okay. It's I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm like, really? Okay, go ahead. What is it? Uh, cows. Cow, exactly, cow. So it's three letters only. So if it was cow. four letters, then it would be S. Okay? Cow, yes. yes. So cow, perfect. Milk comes from cows. Awesome. Thank you, Victor. Next, I'll get uh, G. Are you there, G? Yeah, hello. Yeah? I'm okay. Here. Awesome. G, can I get you to do seven across? Seven. Across. It's on. Can you, can you, can you? On. No, oh, oh, can you read? Seven is. Seven. Uh, yeah. Can you read it, please? Yeah. Um, w O R N. Or, oh. No, no, no. Can Hunt. you read? Can you read the sentence? What can you read? What Hunt the description? Parks live. Yeah, hunting parks live in the woods. House at the moon. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's a four-letter word. It's an animal with a four-letter mm -hmm. name, and the first letter is a W. It's a worn or something. Worn w o r n or something like that. W. Okay, here, let me write it. W o r, and what's the last letter? N. 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 Okay, worn. No, it's not that. Who can tell me what seven across is? Okay. Wolf. A wolf. Can you say that, Yi? A wolf. Wolf? Can you say that for me? Wolf. Yeah. Okay. So who? Okay. So let's look at some of the words that we just covered. Hunts in packs. What does that mean? Hunts in packs. Oh, and there are wolves. So, sorry. There are wolves at the same time. Wolves. Oh, oh, yeah, with a lot of wolves at the same time. Exactly, yeah. So hunts in packs, they hunt in groups, okay? So it's hunt in groups. So wolves do not hunt alone, all right? So you'll never see an, an, a lone wolf 
uh, hunting or like you know getting its prey. They hunt in packs. So when there are a lot of wolves, so the plural of wolves, the plural of wolf is wolves. Okay. So wolf, wolves. So one wolf never hunts alone. Wolves always hunt in packs. They always hunt in groups. So when you see uh, a group of wolves, you know that it's called a pack. It's not called a group. Okay. They live in the woods and they howl at the moon. What is howl? Who would like to howl for us? Somebody howl for us. <laughs> you guys are awesome. I didn't think you'd actually howl, but that's great. So that is howling. When you look at the moon and you go, Ooh, that is howling. Okay. If you, guys watch, <laughs> if you guys watch vampire shows or werewolf shows, you always see wolves howling at the moon. Okay. Awesome. Anything, any words that are unclear? So an animal that hunts in packs, lives in the wolves, and howls at the moon is a wolf. Okay? All right. Are, we, are you guys comfortable so far? Can we move on? Yeah. yeah, yeah? yeah. Okay, perfect. Next, I will get uh, Jose. Jose, can you do eight down for us? Eight down? Or mm -hmm. Eight down. Yeah, yeah. This animal is a type of giant, giant cat. The males grow manner manes, manes, manes or fur around their heads. Yeah. A yeah. lion. Yeah. Exactly. Perfect. A lion. Okay. okay. So everybody, a male lion. You guys have seen. They have amazing hair. They use them in a shampoo commercial sometimes as well. So the the hair around a male lion's head is called it's called a mane, okay? So male lion's hair is called a mane. You don't say hair, okay? You, you say mane, okay? Do female lions have manes? No. No. Female, that's how you know the difference between a male lion and a female lion. Male lions have manes. Female lions do not have them, okay? Awesome. Thank you so much, Jose. Next, I will get Jalal. Yeah. Nine across. Uh, yeah, nine across. Okay, um, nine across. Uh, this animal is primate. Humans. Primate. Are prim primate. Primates. Yeah. Humans are primate too. Um, okay. I'm gonna say monkey. Yeah, exactly. It's monkey. So, what are primates? You can uh, tell me what a primate is. Yeah. Uh, f uh, uh, it's like us. Uh, primate is a. Uh, uh, can I say it? They are first on uh, on. Uh, on the planet. On the planet, yeah. Okay, perfect. That's awesome, Jalal. So a primate comes from primitive times. Primitive means old. Primitive means old or ancient. Are prehistoric. Okay? Everybody knows what these words are old, ancient, prehistoric. That means like really, really old times. Alright? So primates are 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 ma are mammals that existed, you know, before human beings did. So monkeys and humans are primates because they come from primitive times. They're mammals that evolved. Okay? A gorilla is a primate as well. He's asking, what about gorilla? A gorilla is a primate as well. Um, and the difference between an ape and a monkey, they're different, they're, they're different, they're different primates, okay? Apes are usually bigger than monkeys, all right? So the hierarchy is like the biggest is a gorilla, then an ape, and then a monkey, okay? That's usually how it is. Fanfu, you're asking what a howl is? Who would like to howl for Fanfu again? Somebody howl for Fanfu. Oh, oh, perfect. But that's what that's what it is, Fanfu. That that sound that wolves make. Ow! That's a howl. Awesome. All right, let's go on ten. Uh, yes. Yeah. Can I get you to do six across? Six across. Um, a cowboy transportation. A cowboys. He's yeah, a cowboys. Transportation is a horse. Perfect. So everybody knows what a cowboy is, right? Has anybody ever been in Matthew's classes? 
he sings a lot, and he wears a cowboy's hat. So a cowboy is a person who usually works on a ranch. A ranch is where there are lots of horses. Um, and his transportation, so how a cowboy gets around, is on a horse. If anybody's ever seen old westerns, old westerns are old movies that have lots of cowboys in them. Okay? Perfect. Thank you, Tan. All righty. Let's see. Who would like to go next? Who would like to do two down? I did. Yeah, sorry. Who said I did? Uh, me? Jorge, yeah, go ahead. Can I get you to do two down? Two down? No. Mm. Let me see. Okay. The males of this woodland species species. species 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 grow giant antlers. 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 And, yeah. Antlers. yeah. Males of this male of this Oh my god, I can hear my oh. own sound. Okay. <laughs> okay. For, uh, okay. So Woodland are things that live in the woods, in the forest. Okay? Species are a kind, like a unique, uh, a unique race of organisms, a species, okay? And giant antlers. What are antlers? Who can tell me what antlers are? Okay? So this, it has horns, okay? So a horn, horns are usually shor short and they're sharp and they're like this. But this animal has antlers, so they go all the way up like this, like that, like that. Oh, Who can tell guess. me? Yeah. So what is it? Maybe it is a rain. Maybe it is a... Okay, can someone... Can you please stop muting Jose? He'll just say what he has to say, and then he'll he'll mute himself again. Okay, Jorge, what is, what is it? Okay, Jalal, stop muting, stop musing Jose, all right? Jose, do you want to unmute yourself? If you want to unmute yourself, then uh, you can do that and t give us the answer and then mute yourself again. Yourself again. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. know who is yeah. muting yeah. me. Yeah. That's okay, yeah. yeah. Who is? Rain, uh, reindeer or reindeer? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. uh, but this is only four letters, so what is it? Oh, well, I know it's what, is it, deer. what it is, deer. but... Deer. Deer. Oh dear. Oh, yeah. Dear. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, a reindeer is a kind of deer. Okay. So reindeer. Reindeers are kind of deers. All right. So deers have antlers. They don't have horns. Okay. If you are saying that a reindeer has horns, that's wrong. They have antlers. A deer's horns are called <laughs> antlers because they are long and thin. They're not like short and pointy like that of a, of a bull, for example, okay? All right. Is everybody okay? Let's move on to the next, to the next word. I, yeah, I'll get Emmett. Can I get you to do four down, please? Yes, four down. Where is it? Trap? Yeah, so it's five letters, and the second letter is an O. Do you want me to give you a hint? Yes. Yes? Okay, so um, this these are really little. It's really small, and you, have, you, and you can get it in your house. You don't like it when it's in your house, and you put little traps on the floor so you can capture Maybe, it. Maybe uh, it is... Uh, I can't... You can't think, you know what the word is in Arabic, but you don't know in English. You guys have to think in English now. Hamster? <laughs> hamster, okay. okay. Hamster. It's not a hamster. It's a. It, it's not a hamster, but you're very close. It's not as cute as a hamster. What is it? Who can help? Uh, Who'd like to help yes. Ahmed out? A mouse. It's mouse. A mouse. Oh, okay, yes. exactly. Mouse. A hamster is usually a bigger, okay, the thing about ma mice Okay, who's the what? Who knows what the plural of mouse is? Mouse. Mice. 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 Okay, we do not say mouses. Okay, the plural of mouse is mice. The thing I don't with mice. Get the mouse in my house. You know, <laughs> I don't, I'm not saying you get it personally, but people can get mice. So mice are rodents. Okay, so animals that infect your house, that start eating at your furniture, that are unhygienic, are called rodents. So mice are a kind of rodent, all right? Hamsters are a little different. Hamsters are rodents too, but they're more domesticated. 
domesticated. Okay. At the university, we kill a dozen of mouse. Yeah, a dozen mice. Of mice. A dozen mice. Yes. Yes, see? A dozen mice. So you kill a dozen mice at the university. They bite yes. also. Yeah, they do. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Ahmed. Uh, let's go on to Sofian. Okay. Okay, can I get you to do 10 across, please? Okay. Can you read it for us? Yeah. Okay. This farm animal has wool that humans stir into yarn. Okay, it's a five-letter word. It's right over here, right over here. Five-letter word, and the middle letter is an E. E? Yeah, middle letter is an E, and it's five letters. Do you know what, do you know what, uh, what... Okay, okay, I get it. What, oh, okay, what is it? <laughs> sheep. Perfect, sheep. Awesome. What is the plural of sheep? Who can tell me what the plural of sheep is? Sheep. That's the plural of sheep. Sheep. Okay. The plural of sheep is sheep. <laughs> okay, guys? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's why I asked. Okay? Sheepin, sheep, sheep it, whatever you guys said is all wrong. The plural of sheep is sheep. Okay? The plural of wolf is wolves. Okay? What's the plural of cow? Cows. Cows, exactly. What's the plural of mouse? Mice. Mice, exactly. So not all not all plurals are made by putting an S at the end of them, okay? What is the plural of fish? Fish. What's the plural of fish? There is no plural, I guess. Fish. You don't say there are three fishes in the tank. You don't say that. You say there are three fish in the tank, okay? You do not say, I like eating fishes. You say, I like eating fish. Okay? All right? Everybody clear? Uh, what's the yeah. plural of ox? Everybody knows what an ox is, right? It's like a big bull. What's the plural of ox? Ox. 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 The plural of ox is oxen. Okay? Mm. So what's, what's the plural of moose? Moose. Moose. moose is an animal. Okay. Yes. Moose, the plural of moose is moose. Okay, so let me show you some of these animals. Okay, does anybody know what a goose is? A goose, G O O S E, goose. It's like a duck. It's like a duck. What's the plural of goose? Who can tell me the plural of goose? I don't know. I guess it's the same. No, it's geese. The plural oh. of goose is geese. Okay? So, you guys, it's very important to know not just animal names, but what their plurals are as well, okay? Moose, the plural of moose is not mooses, okay? Plural of goose is not gooses, it's geese. Plural of ox is not oxes, it's oxen, all right? It's very, very important to know these plurals as well. You cannot go around saying fishes and mouses and wolfeses or whatever, okay? Sheeps, you cannot say sheeps, okay? It's sheep. All right, awesome. So a farm animal has wool and that humans turn into yarn, okay? So the the hair or the, the skin of a sheep has wool on it and we make it into yarn, okay? So it's like cotton. Cotton is a plant. We pluck the cotton from the plant and we make clothes out of it, all right? Same thing with wool. You make yarn out of wool. These are fabrics, all right? Perfect. Thank you, guys. If you have any questions, anything is unclear, do let me know. Do stop me, and I will clear it, okay? Next, let's see. Jalal, can I get you to do 10 down? Yes, of course. Okay. Um, 10 down. The farm animal has... No, wool. down, down. That's a cross. Ah, ta okay, down, okay. The Shrodan has a big, crazy tail. Uh... Okay, and it's a, it's, a, it's a big word, all right? So here, let me show you. So it's 10 down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 letters. And the first letter is an S. A rodent. A rodent, yeah. Like a mouse. 
yeah, like a mouse, like a rat, like a guinea pig. Uh, these are all rodents, okay? So what's another rodent that you can think of, okay? So this rodent has a big fuzzy tail. Fuzzy means like fluffy and hairy. So fuzzy is like when you, when you hug a big cat or a big dog and you say it feels really fuzzy. It feels fuzzy because it has hair or fur on it and it feels very nice and like fuzzy. Like hamsters? Like hamsters, yeah, but this word is eight letters and it starts with an S. Do you want a hint, Jalal? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so let's see. First, it's SQ. So the first two letters are SQ. SQ. So this, this animal eats nuts and it lives in trees. Uh. Okay. Who would like to help Jalal out? It's a squirrel. It's a yeah. squirrel, yeah. Squirrel. Do you know what a squirrel is, Jalal? No. No? Okay, so, wait, you live in Canada. You should know what a squirrel is. Yes, but I, I know it in French. Um... Okay, there you go. So that, okay, this is, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is a squirrel, okay? Yeah. So, in English, these are called squirrels. So, these are also rodents. See, pest, sure. pest is something that causes a problem, pest control. So rodents cause problems. They eat people's furniture and they make a mess in their houses, all right? So these are rodents. So a squirrel is a rodent that lives in trees outside. Awesome. Thank you, Jalal. Thank you. I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. What's the difference between a squirrel and a, and a chipmunk? Oh, okay. Squirrel and a chipmunk. Very good question. I get that question a lot. Okay, so let's... So you see a squirrel, right? So you can see a squirrel. It's a little bigger, for one thing, and it has a big fluffy tail, all right? It has a long tail, and it's very fuzzy, all right? Now, yes. look. Chipmunk. So a chipmunk has a smaller tail. Here you go. And a chipmunk is smaller than a squirrel, okay? So this is going to be smaller, and its tail is not as fluffy, okay? Okay. Did you see that the squirrel had a bigger tail? And chipmunks have this pattern on their bodies. They have this design. Okay, this line runs down their back. Whereas in a squirrel, you don't have that. Can you see it on the squirrel? No. 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 Okay, so they're very similar. They're both rodents. And uh, th that's the major difference. Chipmunk is smaller than a squirrel. Its tail is different and it has a different pattern. But they look the same to the naked eye. Pattern. Sorry, Ahmed? Have a standard pattern. Have a chipmunk is is uh, more fashionable. Chipmunk is more fashionable. That's true. Chipmunks look nicer to the naked eye. That's true. Perfect. All right. Uh, thanks, Jalal. Next, who would like to do the next one? Uh, sorry, I think there is a mistake on uh, eleven. On eleven. Okay. All right. So let's let's eleven do number. Okay. Let's do eleven. Okay. Where bacon comes from. Where does bacon come from, Jalal? Pork. No. Pig. Pig. Bacon comes pig. from pig. Bacon? Pork also comes from pig. So, okay. Pork, ham, and bacon. These are okay, all different. Okay. Yeah, they I all see. come from a pig. Okay? So, okay. these are all different parts of a pig. So, bacon, I, I, don't, I don't eat pig. I'm not too sure what like the parts is, but I think bacon is like the, uh, I don't know, the, the top part of the chest, I'm not too sure. Ham is like the, its legs, and then pork is like its, uh, its breast or something, all right? So all different right. parts of a pig cooked in different ways, they're all part, they all come from a pig though, all right? Which pork. one is the, the delicious? Sorry? Oh. Which one is the delicious? Bacon is delicious, yeah, a lot of people love bacon, yeah. Okay, so they all come, the animal they come from is a pig. Okay? Okay. Perfect. All right. Thanks. Yeah, and if you you're welcome. If you guys have any questions like this, definitely ask me, all right? I mean, I'm going to clear it up for you, all right? Okay. okay. Next we have Tan. Tan, are yes. you there? Yes. Can I'm I get here. you to do okay, Awesome. Can I get you to do 18 across? 18 across. Similar to a crocodile lives in the swamp and has big sharp teeth. Okay, so it's similar to an alley, to a crocodile. It's <laughs> ah, it just for it. Seven, alligator. Ah, you guys suck. Ah, <laughs> alligator. 
Okay, everybody knows what an alligator and a crocodile, they look yeah. very, very similar, okay? Everybody know what a swamp is? No, I don't. Swamp? Okay, so a swamp, let's, let's actually have a look at a, a, of a swamp. It's better to explain it than uh, I show it, okay? So this is a swamp, all right? So a swamp, um, let me see, okay. So it's water, and there there's a jungle around the water, okay? And a lot of trees. This is actually not a good picture. Let me get a better picture for you. Um, oh, my God, all the pictures are so tiny. There we go. Okay, so there. So this is a swamp. So very, like, moist, like, very moist, very dull, and very damp. So this is a pond or a lake, and then there's a lot of uh, vegetation, a lot of trees around the shore. And the sunlight doesn't get to this water because the trees are very tall. So it makes a very damp and a very cold environment. So swamp, you can see that there's sunlight over here. So this area, which is a swampy area, is going to be a little colder than where there is sunlight. Okay. So this sort of setting next to a water body with a forest or a jungle is called a swamp. All right. So alligators and crocodiles, they live in swamps and they have big teeth, big sharp teeth. Okay? Is that clear? Okay. What a swamp is? Yeah? Awesome. Okay. Wetlands, mangroves. So Victor is saying that a swamp, wetlands and mangroves. Yeah. Mangroves, again, mangroves are trees that have their roots in the water at the bottom. Okay? And they are very, they're very short trees. So as soon as they come up th from the water, they, they grow and then that's it. They always stay close to the water. Okay? So those are so a swamp is a sort of wetland. Perfect. Alrighty. Who would like to do the next one? Who likes to do the next one? For a sorry? Me? Jose? Yeah? Oh no, it's a uh, Jose. Yeah, Jose. I'll get you to do let's get you to do twelve down. Okay. This and then this animal is gray and has a long trunk. Yeah. Trunk? trunk, yeah. So a trunk. Okay, I'll oh, tell you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, what's a trunk? That's a bug. That's a bug, right? That's a bug? No. <laughs> a trunk is, this is a trunk. My nose, you see my nose? My nose was really long like this. That's a trunk. Oh, trunk. What is it? <laughs> what is it? Um, Lung nose. Really long nose goes like this, and I, I pick up stuff with my nose, and I put it in my mouth, and I scratch my elephant. eye. Uh, it's an elephant, exactly. Oh, okay? yeah. So an elephant's no. nose, it, you don't say an elephant's nose, okay? This is a nose. This, this thing is a nose, all right? Elephants do not have noses. Elephants have trunks, all right? Trunks. trunks. Okay, perfect. Elephants have trunks. They don't have noses, all right? Oh, and trunk? Isn't it trunk uh, some part of the tree? No, a trunk? Uh, no, I, I, a trunk is the back of a car. A trunk? Oh, oh, yeah, a trunk can be a tree's body as well. Yeah, a trunk is like, yeah, like, like the base of a tree where the roots come out of that's really big, that's a trunk. Yeah. yeah. And then you have the trunk yeah, of a car. Why. <laughs> You're like that's why I was I was thinking about the the bug. A bug? There's no. The bug. It has like a trunk or something like that. It looks oh, like a tree. Oh, okay. No, we're looking. Yeah, we're looking at animals. Bugs are insects. So you, bugs and insects are not animals. There's a different category for them. All right. So an animal that has a trunk is an is an elephant. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Jose, for that. Uh, okay. Next we have we have Johan. Johan. Can you hear me? Hi. Do you want to unmute yourself? Do you know how to unmute yourself? No? Okay. So I'm just going to share my screen. I'm sorry. I'm just going to show uh, Johan how to unmute himself. Uh, so you have this button. You see, this is the screen that you see, Johan. There's a microphone here, right up here. If you click on it, it'll mute you like this. Okay. Okay, Do you hear you me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Oh, I'm sorry, G. You're uh, having okay. internet problems. I hope you're able to get back in. Sorry, G. Okay, yeah. Go ahead, Johan. Uh, do you know where the document is that we are using? Uh, no, <laughs> actually no? not. 
Okay, all right. So I am pasting it in Google in Google Chat. Okay. So if you okay. want to open that, and when I share my screen, everybody is going to be able to see the uh, crossword that we are solving. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome, guys. We gotta get through this crossword in ten minutes. This is overdrive mode. All right. So yeah. let's get Victor. Can I Victor. can I do the the fifteen across? Yeah, you can do fifteen across. But right yeah. now, I'll get Victor. Victor, can can you do? 17 across for us. Okay. 17 uh, across. Uh, mm, something is a fierce hunter with striped for. Striped. 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 Four. Yeah. So this is five letters, striped. Victor. So striped is a fierce, fierce hunter. hunter. Fierce. Fierce four. means really, really brave, uh, really strong. So uh, this is an animal that is a really good hunter with a striped fur on it. Striped means that it has a mark on its fur. Mm, shark. Shark? Mm, I guess it could be a shark. Let's see. S I mean, it could fit in. Does everybody think it's a shark? Five letters? Uh, no. No? no? Okay, what 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 do you guys think it is? I think it's a tiger. 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 Yeah. Okay, so let's get a hint. Ooh, it is a tiger. Okay, perfect. So it's a tiger. Do you know what a tiger is, Victor? Mm, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like a lion. Like a lion, yeah, but it has striped fur. So let's have a look at what striped means. Okay, so here. This, the fact that it has lines on its fur, this is, this is called to be striped. Okay. Striped. Okay. Yeah, this is striped. So to have such lines is, is called to have stripes. So it has stripes on its face here, on its on its uh, on its body here as well. Awesome. Okay. And you're, yeah, thanks, thanks, Victor. Next we have Jalal. Jalal said he wanted to do fifteen across. Go ahead, Jalal. Uh, this African animal is covered in black and white stripes. Stripes. Yeah. Stripes. Again. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, it's a zebra. Perfect zebra. So again, let's have a look at, so we saw what a stripes on a tiger looks like. So let's look at the stripes on a zebra. Okay. Again, same thing. You guys see it? The lines, so black and white stripes, black and white lines are called stripes. Awesome. Thank you, Jalal. You're welcome. Next, who would like to go next? Um, Jesus? Yes. Okay, what? Jesus. Can I get you to do 16 down? 16 16 down, down. yeah uh, uh giraffe has yeah, okay. so yeah. neat, so it can eat the leaf of of trees yeah a giraffe has a long neck so it can eat the leaves off of trees perfect a giraffe awesome and everybody giraffe. knows yeah every giraffe everybody the knows giraffe giraffe yeah Okay. Thank Giraffe. You. Perfect. Awesome. Next, can I get? Would like to go next? Oh, I'm sorry. I have a question. Yeah, go ahead, uh, Jose. Uh, why does the word uh, leaves off? Uh, what 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 do you put off? Off of leaves. Off of leaves. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Off okay. Of trees. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna unshare my screen. So when a giraffe goes up to eat eat the leaves. So it is pulling the leaves off, okay? So, oh. all right. So when you pull the leaf off, that's not of. That that's not the preposition off, okay? So when you take something off, like you turn it on and off, all right? On off. So it pulls the leaf off, off the trees, okay? okay. Pulls leaves off, off the trees, okay? You understand? Okay. So one so, off is taking it off, and the other off is telling you what they are taking it off of. All right, they are taking it off, off the trees. Okay. No, the pre okay. prepositions are tricky. A tricky concept in English, but you know, with practice, you understand how to use them. All right. You don't always use off and off in that sense. All right. If okay. you're using okay. off, you don't have to follow it with the other off. Okay. Okay. And, awesome. uh, is there another word uh, like looks that looks like that one? Uh, it is nut or something like that. Snatch. Nuts. Snatch. Snatch. I can't remember. Snatch. Well. Snatch. 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 Yes. Snatch. 
So snatching, this is snatching. Okay, so like somebody, okay. somebody has somebody has glasses, and I'm like, that's snatching. Okay, so when you have like, if they have leaves, they go up and they pull the leaves and they eat them. This this action, this is snatching. So somebody is holding something and you go snatch it from them. So you pull it out of their hand, like you take it by force. To take something okay. by force is a snatch. Awesome. So that's the word, okay. snatch. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Who would like to do the next one? May I? May I? Yes. So can I get you to do 14 down? 14 down. Mm -hmm. A tadpole? Yeah. Who turn into a ones get older. Okay. A tadpole, it's a very small, slithery little, it's a baby of this animal. Okay? A frog. Perfect. Yeah. So the baby of a frog is called a tadpole. Okay? So I want you guys to know this. Tadpole is before a frog becomes a fully grown adult frog, it's called a tadpole. Okay? Awesome. Perfect. Thank you, Tan. Next, can I get Sofiane? Okay. So, now, can I get you to do 13 down? 13 down. Okay. Most var varieties Bra of, yeah. of blank live in the forest, but the polar blank lives in the ar Arctic. Arctic. Bear. Bear. Arctic. Yeah, perfect. Arctic. Bear. Okay, so we have most bears live in forests, but polar bears live in the Arctic. The Arctic is the North Pole, okay? Arctic is the North Pole. Antarctica is the South Pole, okay? So on top of the Earth, where Canada is, Canada touches the Arctic, all right? Awesome. Perfect. Next, let's get Ahmed. Can I get you to do 19 down? 19 down. Uh, 19 down. Just one minute. 19. Bucks, bunny? <laughs> Bugs Bunny. What is Bugs Bunny? He's the very famous cartoon. Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny. Really, I don't know. What's okay, okay, okay. Here, here. He he eats carrots. He eats carrots, and he says, "Hey, <laughs> what's up, Doc?" <laughs> yeah, exactly. A rabbit. Okay. Yeah. So if you guys don't know who Bugs Bunny is, he's a very very famous cartoon, and he eats carrots, and then he goes, black. "Hey." He's from not... a long time. From a long time. Yeah, it's he's like a, a, it's a very long time. Yeah, it's from like a very long. Hey, come on! I know what Bugs Bunny is. I I grew up watching Bugs Bunny. <laughs> I am very old. <laughs> so his so his catchphrase is, "A hey, what's up, dog?" Jack, jack, jack. Yeah, that's what he says. Awesome. So that is Bugs Bunny is a rabbit. Okay, who would like to do the next one? Okay, I'm gonna call. Start calling names. Lucas. Um, Lucas, Vicky. yeah. Can I get you to do twenty-one across? Yeah. Has feathers. Feathers. Can fly. Feathers. feathers. Yeah. And can can fly. Starts with a B and is four letters right over here. Bird. Bird. Exactly. A bird has feathers and it can fly. Awesome. Thank you for that. Next, Welcome. I will get um, Jose. Jose, okay. are you there? Yeah? Okay. okay. Can I get you to do 22 down? Okay. Um, we'll eat anything? No, 22 down. Oh, 22. Bark. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. What animal barks? Who can tell me which animal barks? Like, woof, woof. Oh, a dog. Ah, <laughs> perfect. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So when a dog, when a dog goes woof woof, he's barking. Okay? okay, the sound that a dog makes is not woof woof. That's how you say it, but that's actually pronounced. It's actually called a bark. So a dog's sound is a bark. Perfect. Okay. Next, can I get Jalal? Yeah. Jalal, can I get yeah. you to do twenty three across? Yeah. Uh, smaller than horse. Uh, this animal is used to transport people or goods. 
So it's like a horse, but it's smaller. It's like a, a henny? Hmm? A, a pony. Pony. It's not a pony. pony. No. Pony. It's, yeah. six, it's six letters. It's six letters. Six uh, letters. Yeah. It goes, it goes, hee-haw, hee-haw. Ah, okay. What is uh, it? A donkey. Bah, perfect. It's a donkey. Okay? A pony is a cross between a donkey and a horse. Okay? okay. But you could have said pony as well, but because it was six letters, it had to be donkey. Awesome. Thank you, Jalal. You're welcome. Next, I'll get... Who'd like to go next? Ahmed, can I get you to do 25 across? 25, just one, slow and steady, steady and slow, that's why I always go. Slow and steady, steady and slow. Turtle, turtle. Turtle, perfect. So let's see, it's turtle. You guys are awesome. Turtle, slow and steady. Turtles are kind of known for being slow, okay? Um, next, can I get uh, Victor? Victor, can I get you to do 20 down? Okay. Mm. Will it anything? Mm -hmm. It's four letters, and the second letter is an O. Oh, that's, mm. Do you want a hint? The first letter is a G. G O. G O. Mm. G -O. Yeah. No. They go ba ba. Goat. Yeah. Goat. Goat. So goats. goats, yeah, goat. Goats are known for eating anything and everything, and the sound they make is ba. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, and, well. the, and the last one is ten. Can I get you to do twenty-four across, please? Cat hunts mice. Yes, hunts mice. So not mouses, mice, and that's a cat. Okay, awesome. And we are done with our crossword puzzle, and that's the end of class. You guys are awesome. I'm so glad we finished it, all right? If you still have any questions, if you're, like, unsure about any words that we covered, you guys are more than welcome to give me feedback on Verbling. So give feedback to teacher button on Verbling now works. So if you guys want to be like, you were talking too fast or too slow or whatever, you can say that, all right? Uh, or you can give me feedback on my Facebook. I posted the link there. Thanks, guys. I'm out for tonight. I will be back tomorrow with more classes. Make sure you check out my schedule to see what I'm teaching and when, okay? It was really okay. nice. It was okay. a lot of fun talking to you, everybody. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Thank you. Yep. See you